Free K peeps! What's up? It's Miss Holokai. <laughs> this week we were talking about measurement, right? Different ways to measure things. We were measuring um, length and height with the measuring tape and with cubes. We were measuring how much something can hold. We were taking containers and figuring out how many cups of water it can hold, how many marbles it can hold. Uh, we were weighing things with our balance scale. What's heavier? What's lighter? Uh, five frogs or seven frogs. And I wanted to read you a book about measurement. This is about length. Um, it's called The Biggest Shoe. The Biggest Shoe. Because there are standard and non-standard measurements. Remember, standard measurements are things like your measuring tape or your um, measuring cup or your scale, things that when you have to be exact, it has to be perfect, right? Because if it's not perfect, bad things can happen, right? Like if you're measuring um, cookies, you can't just say, ah, we'll add a little bit of this m milk here, we'll add uh, five eggs, uh, we'll just guess it. No, because your cookies will taste all gross. Or with weight. Remember we were talking about that bridge and only a certain amount of weight can go on that bridge? What if a big semi-truck driver was like, ah, I'm just going to drive across that bridge, it'll be cool. No, it would be too heavy and it would crash. Um, Non-standard measurements are things that you just have with you, that you just have around the house. or you can Remember I always say you could, uh, your thumbnail is about an inch, um, your, a grown-up foot is about 12 inches, is about a foot. Um, a dollar bill is about six inches. Those are non-standard measurements. So when we use things like cubes and things like that, those are non-standard. So this is a book about non-standard measurement. There's a girl who measures shoes, and uh, she uses a non-standard measurement. All right, here we go. My baby sister's shoe is little. Oh, look at how itty-bitty that is. It must be a little baby. My shoe is bigger. So here, here's, here's her shoe. Here's her baby sister's shoe. She's using that as a non-standard measurement. So her shoe is about one, two, three baby shoes long. How big is mom's shoe? Oh, look at that fancy uh, high heel. It's pink. Let's count. How many baby shoes oh, long is mom's shoe? One, two, three, four. Whoa, there's dad's shoe. That's his work shoe. Is dad's shoe bigger than mom's? Let's see. Hers was four baby shoes long. Let's see how long dad's is. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's, wait, it's bigger. This was four, this was five. My friend Bob is a giant. How big is Bob's shoe? What? This looks like a clown shoe when you go to the circus. Clowns wear shoes like this. Let's let's count how many baby shoes long this 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 shoe is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven baby shoes long. Whoa. Okay. So that was my little story. So here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to take, like. Three items around your house. Just pick some stuff. You can pick it out of the kitchen or your bedroom or the living room or where, wherever. And I want you to measure it using a non-standard measure. Okay? So I'm going to show you three different types of non-standard measurements that you can test out. And then I want you to post it on Seesaw. Okay? Alright. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to measure is this flashlight. Okay, and I'm going to use, let's see, pennies. We're going to see how many pennies long my flashlight is. And remember, you always go end to end, top to bottom, end to end. You don't go over here and you don't go over here. It's just end to end, okay? So let's see.
And make sure they touch. They, they, they have to touch. You can't have space in between. Yeah. So this, my flashlight is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe a half a penny. Eight and a half pennies long. Okay, let's do something else. Let's do this spatula. Oh, I use this for flipping pancakes. This is pretty long. So for my standard non-standard measurement, um, I'm not going to use pennies this time. My unit is going to be paper clips. All right, here we go. Here we go. I gotta scoot my computer back here. So I better scoot it up a little bit because the head of the spatula is going to block it. Yeah, that's good. You see it? Okay. End to end. So let's count. How many paper clips long is my spatula? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten paper clips long. That was cool. And now I wanted to show you something. I don't know if you guys watch We Bear Bears. Do you guys watch that on Cartoon Network? My kids do. We got you got Ice Bear, Panda, and Grizzly, right? We're going to measure. And they come off like this, but they're they're magnetic. Isn't that cool? So we're going to um, lay them down and see how long they are using macaroni. This butterfly pasta, like this. Okay. So here we go. Let's see how long the wee bear bears are. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My bears are seven butterfly pastas long. And remember, friends, when you're using a non-standard measurement, you could use any non-standard measurement. It doesn't matter, but it has to be the same. You, it, it wouldn't make sense for me to use butterfly pasta and paper clips and pennies because I wouldn't get an accurate measurement because these are all different sizes. When you're using a non-standard, look, see how the penny is shorter than the paper clip? You have to use all of one thing. All pennies, all paper clips, all macaroni when you're using a non-standard measurement, okay? So that's what I want you to do is I want you to measure three things using pennies, paper clips, pasta, little blocks you have, anything, and post that on Seesaw, okay? All right, bye.